Welcome to Wheel of Fortune. And now, here's your host, Mark Leota. Thank you very much, Marty, and welcome once again to Wheel of Fortune, everybody. Uh, as you can uh, tell by the night we're taping this, we're doing this on Friday this week, since I'm going to be out tomorrow night. But, hey, at least we still get a game in. So, uh, let's uh, meet our players, shall we? Starting off with Mr. Will Medina. If he's there. Sorry, I had to sneeze very loudly, so my apologies for the mute. Oh. Well, that's a good day to hear F&F, and, and if you're a Niners fan or a football fan, great week for me too. Yeah, well, it's especially uh, great for you after you kicked Nels' butt last weekend. Ah. Yep. Yeah. And, of course, uh, last time we played, uh, we had uh, Will's lady friend Angie on the show, and she didn't do too badly. Yeah. All right. Well, best of luck to you, Will, and best of luck to our next player, Mr. Adam Oliver. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. All right. Excellent. And, uh, well, uh, do you think you can pick up some money today? All right, well, and our third player this evening is also our announcer for the show, Mr. Marty Bingle. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Doing fine. And, of course, uh, we all know Marty is a big-time Muppets fan. Yep. And yes, I did see on uh, your Twitter, Kermit the Frog is still the steering champion. Yes, because freaking Muppet Mindset was on Twitter, Scooter, steering contest champion since 1976. It was like... Um, correction. Kermit has ping pong eyes, you fools. Not about that, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Kermit wins, Scooter loses, and your words, Marty, deal with it. Deal with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, what we're also going to deal with is our first puzzle. It is rhyme time. And just before the show, we drew numbers to see who would start. Will drew number one. Off you go, sir. And we are going to start off with 450. Alright, let's start off the show with an end. And we have an end, uh huh. Hmm, too early in the game, let's spin again. Nine hundred. Would there be a D? Yes, there would. There is one D up there. Uh, for fun and giggles, let's just buy the A. <laughs> Alright, well we know that that's up there. And you're down to 1100. Let's spin. Four fifty. Oh, I thought I was going to Marty's office for a second. T. There is a T up there. Alright, uh, but back to the bell shop. Let's take the E. Uh, $250 for a lot of E's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight E's up there. Oh, God. I don't want to say what's in my head right now. I'll do when we're off camera spinning again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's not go there. 450. Uh, let's go ahead and take the V. There is a V that will bring it to 1750. Uh, we are out of vowels, by the way. I should point that out right now. Alright. One more spin. Four hundred. What are we playing? Will of Fortune 1987 either? <laughs> 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 Everybody played H. 
Yeah, we have some H's. Three of them to be exact. Nine hundred. R. And here come four R's. All right. Sixty-five fifty for you, sir. Let's let's just stop the charade and solve. All right. Here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. All right. A good opening round there for you, Will. $6,550. And, uh, Marty, do you have something for our players uh, as a prize? I do, too. I can show my scripts here. Yay! a very nice prize. Hopefully one of our players can win it here. Maybe Adam can win it because he's starting our next round, which is our crossword round. The clue is teacher. And uh, go ahead, Adam. Okay, let's spin it. And you're going to start off with 450. Alright, a T. Two T's. That's a $900 start for you. Seven fifty. Okay, fiddle. There we go. Um, an H. Yeah, we have an H. You're at sixteen fifty. I will buy a bell. Okay. A. And here comes some A's. There are four of them. All right, fourteen dollars left. Have an eye. And I'll buy the O. One O, and that's it for vowels. Spinner solve. Let's spin. Four hundred. Okay, and S. One S. Thirteen hundred for you. Good number. Okay, the R. And we have three R's. 3850. Okay, I will solve. Alright, read the words in, out in any order, but don't add anything. Drama, math, art, history. That's it. Alright, and our friend from Texas on the board now with 3850. A good start for you. But uh, let's see if Marty can get involved in all this winning here in this third round, which he's going to start just as soon as we see the puzzle. It is a phrase. We've got an apostrophe up there. Alright, Marty, go ahead and spin it. Alright, let's spin. $400. 
400. S. No, there's no S. Will. Four hundred. All right, I'll take the R. Yeah, there's an R. All right, spin again. Four hundred. There's no N, Adam. There's no L. Marty, we're back to you. Take it down to fifteen fifty. Let's buy the O. And here come a couple of O's. Thirteen dollars left, still your turn. for you now. Uh, I'll buy the U. One U, and that's it for the vowels. The spin or solve now. I will spin. Four hundred. There's no C. Will. And Will, it's uh, your turn. All right, sorry about that. I had a call, Stan. Nine hundred. Okay, as I'm trying to catch up on everything. Uh, how about a D? There's a D. And you have thirteen hundred. Uh, let's spin one more. Ooh, okay. The express wedge. Let's have a letter. Y. Two Ys. Now, do you want to hop aboard the express and try and get those last few consonants up there at $1,000 a piece, or are you good? Uh, let's hop on the Amtrak. I mean, train. All right. <laughs> well, of course, one wrong letter along the way will uh, send your train crashing. Yes, just like Nils' career. Okay, my first letter in the train is going to be a G, a G. One G, 4,300. My next letter is going to be a W. One W. And the last letter is going to be an M. There is an M. Just read it. You're way ahead of the game. 
That's it. All right. And that's going to increase your lead, sir. 12,850 is what you have. And you're also going to start our fourth round, which uh, we're going to show you here in just a moment. And the category is event. Go ahead, Will. All right, stay. 900. All right, let's start off with a T. There is no T, Adam. Fifteen hundred. Hmm. I can help you. I'll take an S. There's an S. Um. I'll buy the E. Three E's up there. All right. Twelve fifty left. No. Buy an A. And there's an A. Three eyes, and that cleans us out of vowels. Better solve. Um, that's it. And oh, there's that Aruba trip Marty talked about earlier. Um, I'll take a, I'll take an L. You can pick it up. There's a couple of L's, and of course that will, trip will be yours if you solve the puzzle without getting bankrupt first. All right, what do we got? Winning a spelling bee. That's it. All right. So 1715 cash for you that round, Adam. And you've also won the Aruba trip. That round for you was worth 12,365. And let's see, plus 3850, that puts you into the lead now with $16,215. We are not done yet, however, because we still have another round to play, and we're going to do it right now, so let's get to it. And I believe, for the first time in our 2020 year, how, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, someone forgot to check the spelling. Okay, that was supposed to say, How dare you! Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's another one for the blooper reel, folks. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh. I'm going to give the wheel a final spin before we all lose our sanity. I'll ask for a letter, but it's in the puzzle. You have a few seconds to solve. Vowels are worth nothing. Consonants are worth $1,400 a piece. A lot of letters up there, though. And, Adam, we start with you. Um, I'll take a T. Three T's. Um, I'll take a B. Marty. S. Three S's. $4,200 for you. No. Will? R. Two R's. Everyone with money. Uh, it's really no. Adam. No M, Marty. N. And here comes some N's. There are four of them. And you're at 9,800. No, I don't know. Will. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll take the L. One L. And I can see this puzzle is going to make us all go straight to church and to hell after this went past. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, technically you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, Adam. Um, I'll take an E. Uh, 
Well, you're not going to get any money for the E's, but there are three of them up there. Marty. Oh, yeah, no money for the eyes, but there are four of them up there, and you get your time. Alright, Will. Uh, G? One G. Adam. C. One C. Oh God! Nails, nails, doing it in the summer with Coy and Jason. No, no, that's not right. Um. Um. Nails going. Oh no. Um. <laughs> Time, Marty. Going. Three H's. Here with twenty one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, well, Adam, that trip to Aruba definitely uh, helped you with your score. You end up with a very nice second place total of sixteen thousand two hundred fifteen dollars. And Marty, well, you have a thousand dollars, and I have a feeling I've got a beat down coming my way. Yes, you do. <laughs> All right. Anyways, well, before Nels beats me up in the parking lot. Along with Corey and Myers, for that matter. Uh, let's get Will over here to the bonus area, shall we? Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, spin this bonus wheel here, Will. Alright, the apostrophe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Space number eight. Alright. And your category is Classic TV. We're going to start with the R, S, T, L, N, and E, like we always do. All right, now we'll ask you to pick three consonants and one vowel. Sorry, I was having Chinese food. All right, F. That's one. H. That's two. Q. And your vowel. U. Well, you're definitely going to be happy with a lot of these. Alright, all but one space filled in. Will, you have ten seconds. Good luck. You got it, dude. Alright, Marty, what has he won? Okay. Which, of course, is our cash minimum here on the bonus wheel. $56,250 is what you end up with. The 100000 I believe, was a few spaces off of where he landed. Let's see. He landed on space 8, and I believe it was space 5, Marty, where the 100000 was? Well, alright, well, we'll check after the show, but in the meantime, though, Will, you are tonight's winner. Congratulations, and we will see you next time for more Wheel Fun. Bye-bye.